Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hello, beloved church family. Oh, my goodness. Miss you guys so much. Thank you so much for joining us on Wednesday night worship service. I'm so, so thankful. Thank God for you. I thank God for your worship life. I thank God that, that you bless him. I thank God that you are the shining light. Agape. Hallelujah. Agape. Agape. Just flowing through the earth. Amen. Hallelujah. That the power of God is flowing through you. Amen. And glory to God that we are speaking life. Hallelujah. That we are just being thankful for everything that Lord Jesus Christ did for us. Oh, hallelujah. It just gets gooder and gooder. Amen. God is the only one good and it just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. That's a God needs. A God needs. Hallelujah. So praise God. So in this worship tonight, I, I pray, I pray that our Heavenly Father blesses you. Not only as, as far as with the abundant life that we already claimed in Jesus' name, amen, but a fresh anointing. Say that with me, anointing. Listen, we never get tired of saying that. Seriously, if the enemy has deceived you, not wanting to say anointing, expose that devil right now. Because that is Holy Spirit's presence in your life. The anointing only comes through Christ our Lord, amen. And I just thank God for the anointing that we have through his holy blood. In Lord Jesus Christ, amen. As we was working today on this worship service, Holy Spirit says, I want to address with my holy church as far as handling a sense of urgency. Can you say that with me? Handling a sense of urgency. And as you as you would agree, uh, right now we are in a, in a critical state, amen. I mean, we are in this, this, uh, this environment for now, as far as everything is in an emergency situation, right? And there's a sense of urgency. And glory to God as we were as, as we were working together in, 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 in coming up with this with this worship service, Holy Spirit reminded me that everybody's sense of urgency is different. Can again, amen, everyone's sense of urgency is different, right? I mean like you know, your emergency is not necessarily my emergency, right? Now, granted, we can come into an agreement as far as right now, in this climate, in, this, in the condition that the world is in. The, the sense of urgency is, is, hallelujah, we need to call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? We just need to surrender and just give it all to the Lord. Amen? Just call on God, plead the blood of the Lord Jesus. Amen? Uh, I mean, all else fails, just say Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah? There's power in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And yes, that, that's how this started as far as with, like I said, with this conversation in worship and, and, you know, just preparing for tonight's message. And then Holy Spirit says, your urgency is not my urgency. And that's when I was like, ooh, forgive me, Lord. I'm sorry. Because immediately, for me personally, I just want to make sure that I'm, I'm just pleading the blood and repenting. Father, did I do anything to hurt you? Right? Holy Spirit, forgive me. And immediately, of course, the comforter was like, son, no. I just want you to know that I am God. My thoughts aren't your thoughts because, of course, we, we don't want to remember. We don't want to bring God down into, into our world, into limitations of our right, of our stinking thinking, well, I like to say, we want to trust, hallelujah. Would you rather just trust God Almighty and allow his presence to flow through your life, through your family, amen, for God to be God Almighty and to trust, amen? And that's where God had me tonight, just trust. Because when I say that your urgency isn't my urgency, God says, I want my church to understand how to handle a sense of urgency. Because right now, God is saying, we have to reach out. Listen, beloved church family, you have friends, you have family. I know you do, that you know need Jesus, right? And granted, it could have been 12 years now, 12 years that you've been working on them, and you're, you're, you're just at the point where it's like, they don't listen, they're having too much fun in the world, they don't care, they just wanna, listen, let's not limit God. Can I get an amen? I'm believing that as we handle this sense of urgency, remember, because the Lord says, this is the urgent matter now. 
God is coming back for his holy church. Hallelujah. And he wants every soul, every soul to be open to Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because I'll tell you right now, God wants as many of his children that he can possibly take as soon as that trumpet sounds. Can I get an amen? And glory to God, I know who I'm speaking to. This is us. We are his body. We are his church. But remember, in this urgency of this world, in this emergency state that we're in, all because of Satan running around rampant, doing what he does best, steal, kill, and destroy. Yes, I mean, I'm done calling it whatever the world's calling it. It's Satan. Glory be to God that God is God, amen, and we have the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, and Satan has to run away from my Lord Jesus Christ, right? He has to. Can you hear an amen? Our God is God Almighty, our Father, and here is our Father saying we're going to address in how to handle a sense of urgency. Can I get an amen? Are you excited? I'm excited. Praise God. I love you guys so much. Rejoice. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Amen. Pray for me. Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for Lord Jesus Christ. For all of eternity, we worship you, Father. And I'm so thankful, Father God. I'm so thankful, Father, for every breath of you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you are our God. You have sealed us. We are unified in you. We are unified in your peace, Holy Spirit. We are unified in your anointing. And we ask you, Father, we thank you for a fresh anointing. And Lord Jesus Christ, as we plead your holy blood, for we are in your body, we thank you, Father God, that you teach us. You're our only teacher, Father. And we thank you above all, Father God, that it's your presence, your breath, that goes before us and destroys the plots of the enemy. I thank you, Father God, that your hand, God's hand, pushes evil far, far, far away from us. And I thank you, Father God, that all your angels are around us, protecting us, fighting for us, Father. Father, I pray for all your beloved children, all your beloved children right now, Father God, that are worshiping you. I lift them all up, Father, and I thank you that as you teach us tonight, speaking your living word through Christ our Lord, through the power and anointing of your Holy Spirit, Father, I thank you. That tonight we will never be the same. And Father God, you have blessed us with a fresh anointing, a fresh power, a new blessing for this new season in Jesus' name. And all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Thank you, Jesus. So tonight we're going to be in Mark 5, in Luke 8, and also Matthew 9. We're going to stay in the Gospels. Hallelujah. We mix it up, Holy Spirit said mix it up because of the fact that all of this is pertaining to a, a couple points that we're going to take. It's actually three, praise God, hallelujah, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. But then at the same time, it's all addressed towards the same. And when we, when we get started, hallelujah, everything's going to, because Holy Spirit, say it with me, Holy Spirit, teach me. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit, teach me, amen. God is so good and perfect. So kind. He loves us so much. He's head over heels in love with us. Amen. God is so good. Say with me. God is good. All the time. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's get started. Praise God. When Jesus had again crossed over by boat to the other side of the lake, a large crowd gathered around him while he was by the lake. Now, I need to understand this large crowd, that's a large, large crowd, okay? So right there immediately, just so that we can embrace as far as the tone that Holy Spirit is, 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 is ushering, right? You have to understand that when Lord Jesus Christ came ashore, and as soon as they got off, immediately, immediately, say that with me, immediately, all the needs started coming around them, okay? Then one of the synagogue leaders, named Hyrus, came. And when he saw Jesus, say this with me, he fell at his feet. Can I get an amen? He fell at his feet. Glory to God. So he, once again, we want to go slow because of the fact that we just want to bless Holy Spirit and he's our teacher. And I want to make sure that we are covering everything that God wants us to cover. Amen? That goes with every service. Whether it's pastor, I, whoever's speaking, we want to be obedient to what Holy Spirit got us. Amen? 
And where Holy Spirit got us right now is understand that there's all these people, but then here's this one man, Hyrus, right, that fell at Lord Jesus' feet. Hallelujah. So you can see that right now. You see this picture right here. And then he says, my little daughter is dying. Please come and put your hands on her so that she will be healed and live. So Jesus went with him, and then a large crowd followed and pressed around him. So you could just feel the atmosphere in what Lord Jesus Christ was confronted with right away. Can I get an amen? Right away. Once again, there was all this need. It was, it was, it was almost chaos, right? All, they're pressing around him. And then here's this one man falling on his feet, and he's saying, my daughter's dying. Help me. Can I ask you, beloved family? I mean, how much pressure is that? I know we're talking about God Almighty now. And I know that we're talking about Lord Jesus Christ, Agape himself. Amen. Where nothing is impossible. Can I get an amen? However, Lord Jesus Christ said to his holy church, to you and to me, that you will do greater things. Hmm? That we will do greater things because Lord Jesus says, I have to go and be with the Father. And I'm going to be with the Father. But then the Advocate, hallelujah, the Comforter, Holy Spirit will be on you, will live in you, will dwell within you, will go before you. Hallelujah. So immediately you can see the pressure as far as all the need, all the chaos that's taking place around him, right? You have Hyrus that is in worship. Can I get a hallelujah? Just drop it. Now you need to understand this, because Holy Spirit says, understand this, Joey. Hyrus is in a position of authority. Can I get an amen? He's in the position of authority, but in his heart, he had to humble himself, and he had to come to the realization. Could you imagine the conversations that Hyrus was having before the boat even came? Could you imagine? Could you imagine the conversations Hyrus was having with his people? Or when he received news that the Messiah, he's coming by boat. He's going to be here shortly. He's coming. Could you imagine as far as the anticipation Hyrus had because of the need that was in his life, right? Even above that, could you imagine that a man of authority would actually have these thoughts going, I need to see Jesus. I need to see Jesus. The only way my child is going to live, the only way that there's hope, is I need to get to Jesus. Because as a man in authority, remember, back in those days, as a person in authority, wealth, authority, you could send somebody. Hmm? You could send somebody. But here is Hyrus saying, I need to humble myself. I need to be the lowest of the low and approach God in worship, in, in just, just, just letting him know where I'm at. And glory to God, you could just imagine, hallelujah, you could just imagine with all those people that are around our Lord Jesus Christ, right? Because remember, it's agape, hallelujah, Holy Spirit light shining through Lord Jesus Christ, the only perfect one. Hallelujah for all of eternity, the only perfect one. And here is Hyrus, just falling to his feet, right? Falling to Lord Jesus' feet. Amen? We continue on because Lord Jesus said that he would go and he, he, the large crowd followed him. So we continue on in Mark 5, 25, 26. And a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding. For 12 years. How long, family? 12 years. Oh my goodness. Right? 12 years. She had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and had spent all she had, yet instead of getting better, she grew worse. When she heard, when she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. Let's pause right there. Hallelujah. When this beloved daughter of God heard about our faith, 
Remember, faith has a name. Amen, church? Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, beloved of God. What's his name? Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And when she heard, this is amazing now. We got, we got to just, and I know many of you know this story. I ask you in Jesus' name, get out of this. Amen. And just allow Holy Spirit to flood you with his agape, to, to flood you. Hallelujah. Say with me, flood me, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, just flood me, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit, like a mighty ocean. Just flood us. Get rid of anything that does not belong to you. In Jesus' name, Father. And she said to herself, hmm, Jesus is coming. Isn't that amazing? Let's read it again. I cannot, I, I just, oh, hallelujah. When she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his clothes. Now, I don't know about you, but many of the research, especially, you know, just, just spending time with the Holy Spirit, just in worship and stuff, and then going online and then, you know, looking at pictures, because you guys know, you know, we, we praise God, it's all Lord Jesus Christ. We love to be able to see visual aids, you know, as far as when we worship, because the Holy Spirit charged us to do that, do everything in excellence, amen? And all these pictures that I pulled up of God's beloved daughter who suffered, who was subject to this, this disease. She's on the floor. You know, she's either sitting. Some of them show her crawling, right? And, and, and don't get me wrong, I love those pictures. Because what we have to be reminded is that the Word of God says that there were so many people pressing on Jesus. So could you imagine that you see Lord Jesus, and, you know, right away I just think of how people act when they see a celebrity, right? Or, or um, paparazzi, right? They, they, they just flog the person. They just, you know, and then you just see all these people. And here's this, my goodness, here's this anointed, beloved daughter of God. You, you, I know you say, well, brother, how do you say she's anointed? How do you say? Because you know why? Her thoughts. Her thoughts already was like, if I can just reach Jesus. See, right now, that's where God wants us in this in this state of emergency. That's the real urgency that God says, this is where I want my people to want Jesus. Hallelujah. And so she said in the crowd, it touched his cloak because she thought, if I just touched his clothes, I will be healed. Immediately, when she did it, immediately her bleeding stopped and she felt in her body that she was freed from her suffering. And this is what's so beautiful about our God. And then Lord Jesus Christ said, someone touched me. I know that power has gone out from me. Then the woman, seeing that she could not go unnoticed, come trembling and fell at his feet. So the glory of God is, here is this beloved daughter. She just said, if I could just touch, if I could just touch, his clothing. Hallelujah. I know you can hear Holy Spirit right now. If we could just touch, right? And glory to God, we've already touched Lord Jesus. Amen. If you have Jesus Christ as Lord, you've already touched Lord Jesus this way. Because the anointing power of Holy Spirit left heaven and now resides in you. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. The power of God Almighty is in you. Amen. And then look at this. She could have went away. Don't you love that part of the story? She could have got the blessing. She could have got the healing. Because right there when she touched Lord Jesus, she knew. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I know you feel it right now. Amen. If you don't, get on your knees. Call out the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, you'll feel it. I promise you, you'll feel it in Jesus' name. And so she, she could have just left. She could have just went away. But she said, I, I can't get away from this. I can't get away from the glory of God. He's God Almighty. I can't run away. Hallelujah. So what did she do? Well, let's read it again. Seeing that she could not go unnoticed, she came trembling and fell at his feet.
Church family, you can hear what Holy Spirit keeps telling us, right? I pray in Jesus' name every evening, at least every evening, 8 o'clock p.m., Open Arms Community Church, I pray. Listen, my wife and I, we, we, we hit our knees, we hold hands, and we pray. I'm not saying this religiously. You know we're not religious. It's a relationship with God. But Pastor John spoke in obedience to the Holy Spirit that we need to get on our knees and pray together as one. God sees everything, amen? I know pastors doing it, hallelujah. I pray that we're all doing it. Remember, it's not to be religious, but it's just to know. Send an alarm, amen? Send an alarm on your phone. When that alarm goes off, give you five minutes, amen? If you're like me, you want that alarm to go off and you know, then do that. Praise God, eight o'clock, boom. As soon as it goes off, everything stops, hallelujah. And watch what Lord Jesus Christ will do, amen? So she fell at his feet. She fell at the feet of agape, hallelujah. In the presence of all the people, she told why she had touched him and how she had been instantly healed. And look at this picture, one of my favorite pictures, amen. I know you hear me say that all the time, hallelujah. He says this, daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace, amen. Let's pause right here at this beautiful picture, glory to God of just the, the beautiful picture of agape, of our Father, right there. That's who our Father is. Amen? We are that child, and that's who our God, our Father is. Amen? You see, what we got to remember is that the, the, the issue with blood in the Mosaic Law, that was unclean, filth, disgusting. Garbage. I... Felt like that all my life without Lord Jesus, right? But the glory of God is, is when you call on the name of Lord Jesus Christ. When you say, God, forgive me. I need you, Lord Jesus Christ. Whoa, hallelujah. That virtue, that power is released from the Holy One. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And now the Holy One lives in you and me. Amen. Isn't it beautiful that Lord Jesus Christ would refer to her as daughter? Now let's back up. What, 5, 10, 15 minutes? We don't know, but let's back up. Who fell at his feet? Who fell at Lord Jesus' feet while he just got off the boat, right? Fresh off the boat. Who fell at his feet? Hyrus, right? And what did Hyrus say that his daughter was dying. You see, you see agape at work here? Hallelujah. You see Father, Son, Holy Spirit? Amen. You see how God orchestrates our steps and that we carry the blessing, that we carry the miracles? Amen. That we carry the anointing? Remember, Holy Spirit has already gone before us and He's hovering. Amen. He's hovering. He can be hovering over a drug addict that's just been running away, right? A homeless person. It's not for us to judge. It's not for us to, I rebuke that in Jesus' name. But it's up for, it, it is up to us to say, God loves you. Is there anything that I can do for you? Amen. I just want you to know Jesus Christ died for you. God loves you. Why? Because Holy Spirit's hovering. Let there be light. Amen. Let there be light. Say it with me, church. Let there be light. Hallelujah. So he says, daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. Hallelujah. Don't you love that anointing? Lord Jesus Christ gave us his peace, not this world's peace. That's why this world's acting the way it acts. Because it fears the enemy. It fears all this, all this garbage going on, all these distractions. We only fear agape, God Almighty. We only fear Yahweh. We only fear the Holy One in how much He loves us. And it's in that fear that we become more and more intimate with God Almighty. That we want everything that Holy Spirit has for us. Amen? Glory to God. I mean, you could be doing the dishes and just be talking to the Lord. Hallelujah. You could be working on the farm. Hallelujah. Just be talking to the Lord. Amen? You do whatever. And this is the breakthrough, amen? And I know you know, hallelujah. But the Holy Spirit is saying, speak it, preach it, hallelujah. So that everybody, everybody hears. 
That God is a good and perfect father and he wants to experience an abundant life living it through you, through me. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Let's just give God praise. Amen. Glory to you, Heavenly Father. Let's move on. While Jesus was still speaking, someone came from the house of Hyrus, the synagogue leader. You guys remember, right? And listen to this. As he is speaking, this is just like the enemy now. In the middle of glory, in the middle of worship, right? In the middle of gooder and gooder, the enemy want to try to, right? You guys know, I know, the enemy want to just get in there and hope, hoping, hoping that it would be a big enough distraction to just completely stop Holy Spirit's sanctification. Say it with me, no more. No more in Jesus' name, amen? And this is what they had to say. And I could just picture this. I could just picture this. Because they're all in celebration. Come on now. Rejoice. Can you imagine? Here's God's beloved daughter that was suffering, struggling for all those years. The miraculous, the miraculous exchange of what took place. Hallelujah. The old, filthy, garbage, dead, dead and gone. And it was, it's the picture of salvation now. And here she is born again, hallelujah, through the resurrection power of Holy Spirit. How many of you agree that she was, she was just going to die? People wrote her off. You, you read the word. You just saw the word up on the screen, right? Doctor after doctor. Ain't no more money left, right? Everything is just spent. Sometimes we have to get there to the point where, Lord, you're all I have. And don't you agree? That's where we're at right now. As a whole world, Lord Jesus, you're all I have. Either you're like us, amen, like us, say it with me, us, beloved children of God, right? Covered by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, submitted to Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit living in every breath. Take a breath with me. Thank you, Father. I needed that personally. I needed that. Glory to God. And we just need to be grounded in Christ, right? In the cornerstone, amen? Grounded in our identity in agape. Because you could just see all this happening, right? The salvation, salvation takes place on this beloved daughter, right? Disciples are rejoicing. Remember, there's a bunch of people around. Let's not forget, there's a bunch of people around. And glory to God, just celebration, hallelujah. Glory to God, Jesus Christ is Lord, he's here. Hallelujah, the Messiah is here. And then here comes Crunchy, right? Here comes Crunchy. And this is what they say, your daughter's dead. Don't bother the teacher anymore. Praise God, even Crunchy knows we only got one teacher. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit, amen. Hearing this, now this is, this is, Hmm, thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit says, as anointed children of God, as his holy church, remember Romans 10, 17, it's not on the screen, but Romans 10, 17 says, faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. Amen. We got to understand this, is that what Lord Jesus Christ heard, he immediately rebuked. Watch. Hearing this, Jesus said to Hyrus, don't be Afraid. Say that with me, church. Don't be afraid. Say this with me. No coronavirus. Say this with me. I am healed. Say this with me. I am saved. Say this with me. Jesus Christ is Lord. Say this with me. Holy Spirit is God. Hallelujah. Say this with me. Let there be light. Amen. See, Crunchy came and brought the Crunchy news, right? And remember, Crunchy was trying to get a distraction out there. Now granted, I know he's probably just stating the obvious, which he probably was. But guess what? We do not function out of this world. We function out of heaven, amen? We have a faith God, meaning that there's power in what we speak. Hallelujah. And as a child of God, we know that we cannot speak the way this world speaks. That we speak like Jesus. That we speak the written word of God. That we speak and believe what Holy Spirit tells us from our Heavenly Father. And again, amen. Hallelujah. So this is what he says. He says, do not be afraid. Just believe. 
Hallelujah. Say that with me. Just believe. Oh, glory to God. Amen. Just believe that Jesus Christ is Lord, that God has everything in control. Amen. And she will be healed. Hallelujah. See, Holy Spirit wants to keep us grounded in the cornerstone, not in religion, but in relationship unto our Heavenly Father. And this is where Holy Spirit has us right now. Holy Spirit says, yes, he is agape. Yes, he is Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, he is God. Yes, but he is also 100% man. Lord Jesus Christ was tempted in every way we are. He's the only perfect one. And here's Holy Spirit teaching us, telling us, there's a reason why in the ministry that Lord Jesus Christ lived out, right, with his disciples here on earth, he showed as an example of how to carry out the anointing. Say it again with me, anointing, amen? So he did not acknowledge the distraction of the enemy. He didn't even acknowledge as far as any of that. Immediately he just said, do not be afraid. Just believe she will be healed. Amen? Amen? So that's what God is asking us right now as his holy church. Do not be afraid. Yes, we submit to what God has in authority over us. Amen? We submit to them. God gives us wisdom. Hallelujah. I thank God for our elders, for our deacons, for you. I mean, glory to God. We are one. Amen. We are one church body. And we have to be obedient and submissive to what God says. Because why? God's in complete control. Hallelujah. He is our God Almighty. We surrender and submit to Lord Jesus Christ. Can I get an amen? When he arrived, we're in Luke now, Luke chapter 8, verse 51. When he arrived at the house of Hyrus, check this out. He did not let anyone go in with him except Peter, John, and James, and the child's father and mother. Whew, hallelujah. Let's move on. Meanwhile, all the people were waiting and mourning for her. This is what Lord Jesus Christ said. Stop wailing. Stop crying. Stop. Now, as we pause right here, we have to keep in mind they're already they're already done with the whole situation. Can I hear an amen? When I say done, they're already in mourning. They, I mean, they already got music playing. They already... I mean, basically, it's done. You know, it's done. Right? Wrote her off, right? And here, remember, we just bless Holy Spirit and allow Holy Spirit to, to change our hearts. Amen? To renew our mind. Praise God. We don't try to understand God. We just trust. Amen? And look at this trust Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ has, have, and will always have for all of eternity, the trust he has in the Father. In agape. Amen. Where you could see everybody, right? You could see everybody in mourning and everything else. And here he is. He says, stop wailing. Stop crying. See, I believe sometimes we overlook moments like this. Because truthfully, the enemy is hoping that we don't meditate on the glory of God and the power of his anointing. I, I truly believe that. I believe that the enemy doesn't want us to, to expose him this way because he likes to be in these, in these areas where we don't, you know, we just kind of look over it. We're not going to look over it. Can I get an amen? We're not going to look over it. See, Lord Jesus Christ doesn't allow the environment to define him. Can I get an amen? Lord Jesus Christ knows his identity as the Messiah, as the perfect one, as God's perfect lamb, hallelujah, as the son of God almighty, amen, as Jesus Christ, hallelujah, he knows, he knows who he is. And don't you agree with me that it takes some boldness to tell a bunch of people, stop crying. Better yet, can you 
you imagine, it just says right here that when he shows up to the scene, he did not let other people, he didn't, he didn't let the aunties and uncles, he didn't let cousins come into the room. He said, stay, stay out. Here, let's, let's read some more. I love this because Lord Jesus Christ says, to sum it all up, she is not dead, but asleep. In Matthew, we're going to switch gears. We're going to go to the Gospel of Matthew. Matthew 9 says, when Jesus entered the synagogue leader's house, when he entered Hyrus' house, he saw the noisy crowd and people playing pipes. He said, go away. The girl is not dead, but asleep. But they laughed at him. Hmm? It says right there, they laughed at him. After the, crowd, after the crowd had been put outside, he went in and took the girl by the hand and she got up. News of this spread through all that region. So beloved church family, what is Holy Spirit teaching us right now? Hallelujah. As we worship God Almighty right now, as we worship this mighty work of Holy Spirit through agape. Amen. Where is agape? Hallelujah. Right here. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is my Lord. I am in his body. Amen. This is his body. I'm a member of his body. Amen. We're all members of his body. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. So what is Holy Spirit teaching us right now at this very moment? Because right now you could already feel, you could already feel as far as the sense of urgency, right? And don't you love the fact that he just... Not, not, not even having to do anything, but the glory of agape, the glory of God's presence, the glory of Holy Spirit, that all God's beloved daughter had to do was just touch, right? And in that transaction, right, in that transaction, she was dirty, right? She was broken, right? She was garbage, right? But just by touching the Lord Jesus, just by meditating on the thoughts that you are my only hope, Lord Jesus Christ. Right? If I could just carry this out. And not only receiving the blessing just by touching, but then just owning up to it. She wasn't ashamed. Amen? Oh, she wasn't ashamed. She was blessed to just speak it. And then for Lord Jesus to say, Daughter, thy faith has made you whole. Amen? And then here he is coming into this situation. I know I don't have to repeat everything, but you could just imagine, once again, the environment. Right? And the word just said, we just read it, they laughed at him. And then he cleaned out the room, put him outside. Hallelujah. You see, it's these moments right here where God is asking us. Where are we in our worship, in our intimacy with our Heavenly Father? Amen. And glory to God. I know. I'm, I'm so thankful for your anointing. I'm so thankful that you bless God the way you do. Hallelujah. And the beauty of our Holy Spirit. Amen. The beauty of our God is that he continues he continues to want to bless us with more and more. Amen. Gooder and gooder. Amen. He's the only one good. And I love this picture. You can see the three disciples right there. Mom, dad, and the daughter right there. So when we talk about handling a sense of urgency, Holy Spirit wanted to remind us how Hyrus approached God. And what did he do? Complete submission. Right? Complete submission. Even though he was a man of authority, he humbled himself. Amen? See, this is where the rubber meets the road. Right? This is where a preacher can't do it for you, your wife, your husband can't do it for you, boyfriend, girlfriend, your kids, your grandma. You are the one that's the only one that can do this to God Almighty. You're the only one that could submit the way you think God wants you to submit. And the beauty is, is the level of that submission, what we call repentance, the level of that repentance bears fruit, which means that in your true repentance, 
Holy Spirit fruit should abound. Amen? Should overflow. Right? When you're truly led to the point where I don't want this death. I don't want this sickness. I don't want this. I don't want my marriage to fall apart. Right? I don't want to continue living life this way. I don't want to continue being lustful. Right? I don't want to be addicted to whatever it is. Right? I don't want to, you know, have outbursts of anger. I don't, whatever it is. Glory to God, whatever it is. Listen, I'm throwing myself under the bus. That's, all right, so, so just, just hear me now. Where Holy Spirit has us right now is, will we come to Him in this way? Will we come to Him in complete submission? Will we cry out to Him? Amen? Will we cry out to Him? Why must we wait for sickness to be at the door? Why must we wait for a marriage to start falling apart? Why must we wait for a child to start doing drugs? Let's start now. Hallelujah. Let's start now. And let's start thanking God. And let's get on our face, get on our knees, and just worship and just praise God. We got the time. Amen. We got the time. Listen, turn off the electronics. Turn off the social media. And just get in the word. Amen. Bless Holy Spirit. Thank God for Lord Jesus. And glory to God this season, this new season that's coming. Hallelujah. This season is dead and gone. Amen. A new season is coming. Hallelujah. And watch God bring in worshipers that worship in the truth that Jesus Christ is Lord and in spirit that Holy Spirit is God. Amen. Are we going to approach God with our thoughts like his daughter displayed? Remember, because she could have had the thoughts. Now oh, it's been 12 years. Right? She could have had the thoughts, nobody can do anything. She could have had the thoughts, look at all those people. People are going to step on me and hurt me. People are going to step on my fingers, probably break my fingers. People are going to trample all over me. She could have had the thoughts, oh, he's too far away. I missed my opportunity. She could have had the thoughts that, no, he's walking with Hyrus. He's up there. I'm just... A nobody. But glory to God, she had the thought. Say that with me. The thought. The thought, right? She had the thought. His name is Jesus. I just need to get to him. And glory to God, beloved, you already done did it. You call on the name of Lord Jesus Christ. You have him as your personal Lord. Power is residing in you. Holy Spirit is in you. Amen. And God has given you the anointing to start speaking this life. Amen. Could you imagine? Pray for me because I can't wait here real soon. I'm going to help Brother David in his, in his garden, Sister Virginia. Oh, glory to God. They've been such a blessing to us, to the entire church. Amen. To the kingdom of God. Amen. But could you imagine? Could you imagine? Praise God. If I show up there with Brother David, and I don't know if, if he has this in plan, but I don't, I don't know, but God, God's already there, amen? But could you imagine if he said, okay, here's this little area right here, this little area. Now, Brother Joey, you go ahead and plant the seeds, and then we'll go ahead and keep watch over it. We'll come together, fellowship, and everything else. And I'm like, okay, cool. That's great. And maybe a month goes by, still nothing. Two months, nothing, three months. And then Brother David goes, how come we have all this fruit and vegetables and you ain't got nothing? And I reach in my pocket. I'm like, I got all my seeds right here. Now, I know some of you are like laughing, but I mean, can you imagine? Can you imagine how Brother David's going to look at me? That's the way we are sometimes with the words that we speak. Either we don't speak that I am healed in Jesus' name. Father God, I thank you for your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Father, I thank you that I am the head and I'm not the tail, that I am blessed coming and I'm blessed going. Father, I thank you for every stripe that you bore on that cross. Your word says that I am healed. Father, I thank you that I'm not sick. That I am your child. Father, I thank you that I am your temple. 
Father God, I thank you that you give me the authority over the evil one. Hallelujah. What are we doing? We're planting seeds. Amen. And God says he will be the one that will produce a harvest in your life. Amen. Do you receive that today? So remember, submission, thoughts, and then to sum it all up, in handling a sense of urgency, remember, let's put distractions, say that with me, put distractions outside. Amen. This is very important. Now I know, praise God, because of everything going on in this world, we have a lot of time intimately in our homes, right? Or on the farm or whatever, right? And praise God, submit to that. Submit to that. Don't be rebellious. Don't, don't go out there trying to tell people, oh, just do what you want and all this stuff. Listen, rebuke that in Jesus' name. Rebuke that. Let's submit. Right now, God is asking us to get intimate. Amen? Intimate. You don't got a prayer closet? Make one. Praise God. Hallelujah. Get into a good practice. Praise God. of Anointing your house in oil. Anointing one another. Pleading the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Speak it out. Remember, we're planting seeds. Father God, this oil isn't just oil. This oil is your blood, Lord Jesus Christ. And Holy Spirit, in your anointing, in your power, as I, touch, as I touch my doorway, Father, this is your house. Amen? This is your house in Jesus' name, covered by your blood. Father God, charge all your angels, right? All your angels around us, Father. Every angel. If you don't want it, I'll take it in Jesus' name. Amen? I'll take it in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father God. Give me all of them, Father. Hallelujah. I know many of you are like, no, no. Amen. I pray that this word blessed you. And I pray that in Jesus' name, that a fresh anointing is deposited in the Holy of Holies. I thank God that he renews our mind. And the first thought is, he's a good and perfect father. And he loves us. Amen. That he's for us. God is for you. Amen. The word of God says that he is for you. No man can be against you. Hallelujah. Nothing. Nathan. Nathan can come against you. Our souls are eternal, kept, hallelujah, at the throne of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are in him, amen? And I pray this in Jesus' name. And for those of you who are blessing God with uh, your worship and giving, we thank you so much for your help, amen? All churches need it right now. Praise God, but we know God is our provider. But once again, thank you so, so much for your faithfulness and your giving. Please visit us at oacchurch.com. I know that throughout the worship service, you see it pop up on the screen there. But um, we just want to say thank you so much. And above all, let's just keep blessing God. Keep being thankful for Lord Jesus Christ. Rejoicing. Amen. Remember, it all starts with rejoicing. Hallelujah. Because Holy Spirit goes, oh, hallelujah. My child, what do you want? Amen. And watch what God is going to do. Amen. We love you so much. God bless you. I miss you guys so, so much. And I just thank God for y'all every day. Hallelujah. God bless you. God is on your side. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. Yes, it just keeps getting gooder and gooder. In Jesus' name, love you. God bless. Mwah.